God is love. And married life is richer for both husband and wife. When God becomes a partner too, in everything they plan and do. Celebrating a wedding marriage, I also welcome parents, relatives, and friends. During this wedding match, we pray for the happy marriage. May God grant you all graces which are needed for a young couple to create a faithful and loving family. At the beginning of this mass, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of my God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the lasting life. for the increase of the human race so that the union you have created may be kept safe by your assistance to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the privilege. z księgi Syracydesa. Szczęśliwy mąż, który ma dobrą żonę. Liczba dni jego będzie podwójna. Dobra żona radować będzie męża, który osiągnie pełnię wieku w pokoju. Dobra żona to dobra cześć dziedzictwa i jako tata będzie dodana tym, którzy się boją Pana. Wtedy to serce bogatego czy ubogiego będzie zadowolone. I oblicze jego wesołe w każdym czasie. Wdzięk żony rozwesela jej męża, a mądrość jej orzeźwia jego kości. Dar Pana, żona spokojna. I za osobę dobrze wychowaną nie znajdziesz nic na zmian, zamianę. Wdzięk nad wdziękami skromna kobieta. I nie masz nic równego osobie powściągliwej. Jak słońce wschodzące na wysokościach Pana, tak piękność dobrej kobiety między ozdobami jej domu. Oto Słowo Boże.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. If I am without love, it will do me no good. Set your hearts on the greater gifts. I will show you the way which surpasses all the others. If I speak with human tongues and angelic as well, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong, a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and with full knowledge comprehend all the mysteries, if I have faith enough, not enough to move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give everything I have to feed the poor and hand over my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous, it does not put on airs, it is not snobbish. Love is never rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not prone to anger, neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. This is the word of the Lord. said to his disciples this is my commandment love one another as I have loved you there is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what I command you I no longer speak of you as slaves for a slave does not know what his master is about. Instead, I call you friends, since I have made known to you all that I heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, it was I who chose you to go forth and bear fruit. Your fruit must endure so that all you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear Stace and Father, in your life, certainly you attended many wedding ceremonies. You observe the bride and the groom and the atmosphere. You made your remarks. Today is your wedding day. You are not observers. Today, you play the main role. Everybody can hear 
to win the Jew promise of love and fidelity. What is wedding? It's a moment when two people say to each other, I promise to love you to the end of my life. In a few minutes, you will say these words in front of your parents, relatives, and friends. States in power, today, you are establishing a new family. What is good to know about the family? If you want to build a good family, start from building a harmony and a rhythm between themselves. In the past, when two people desired to be married, they were taken to the forest. They were given to handle soul and a lock. They had to sew the lock. If they could work in harmony, if they could push and pull in harmony and develop a rhythm of sewing the lock, they were compatible for marriage. Are you able to sew the lock? What else is good to know about the family? I think it is very important to know the psychological differences between men and women. Pavel, you have to know that Stacy, in order to express herself during the day, she needs to say 50,000 words. <laughs> and guess who will be the first to listen? You will be. Stacy. You have to know that Pavel sometimes will be quiet and won't have a desire to talk. Why? Because he needs to say only 25,000 words during the day. If a woman has a problem, she likes to talk about everything that is bothering her. If a man has a problem, he prefers to resolve first in his mind. He needs a quiet time to think over it. The estates in Pablo, today you will become a new family and the essence of a family is love. And you've heard in the second reading that love is patient, kind, etc. What love means? Listen to one of the definitions of the love. When the happiness and well-being and security of another person are as real or more real to you than your own, you love that person. Let's look that in this definition of love, we are not talking about feeling. Love is not only a feeling. We know that feelings come and go. We know that we can get angry at someone we love and yet we continue to love that person. We know that sometimes we wake up and we have no feeling at all. So love has to be something beyond the area of feeling. Even though we hope that our love will be supported generally by favorable feelings. So what is love? It is a decision and commitment. When two people commit themselves, they say, I am going to try to do and to be and to say whatever I think is best for you, whatever would really secure your happiness, your welfare, and your well-being. I am committed to do that. I am committed to you. The estates and problem. Always remember that the heart of love is a decision and a commitment for the good of another person. There is a psychological problem about unconditional love. The problem is, can you ever say always? Can you ever commit yourself without any conditions? I am 25 years old. Can I ever commit myself to love you at 35, 45, and 55, 
I am going to be a different person in 10 years, in 20 years. Can I ever say always, not knowing how I am going to develop, not knowing what the future brings? Can I ever say always? Is true love only conditional or unconditional? If a person loves unconditionally, you know that love exists because you've experienced it. If you've ever been loved that way, you know that that love exists. If a person hadn't ever loved that way or been loved that way, there would be a tendency to think it was judgment. The only real love is unconditional love because God loves us unconditionally. My greetings to you. Build the harmony between themselves. Understand each other. Respect each other and love unconditionally. I will pray to God that your marriage will be successful. May his blessing bestow upon you. May the Blessed Virgin Mary protect you in your future marriage. Niech wam Bóg błogosławi, szczęść wam dworze, waszym nowym życiu małżeńskim wszystkiego najlepszego. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may see and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. Stay in part. Have you ever come here free without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? We will love and honor each other as men and wife for the rest of your life. We will accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church. Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Pamel, I, Pamel tell you Stacy to be my wife. Take you, Stacy, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Take your father to be my husband. Take your father to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, man must not give up. May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as the sign of your love and fidelity. Stacy. Stacy. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Pavel. Pavel. 
Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the, and of the Holy Spirit. And now, brothers and sisters, let us offer our petitions for, especially for newly coupled, for states in power. Pray for Paul and Stacy. Be with them as they start their journey through married life together. Guide them along the way and help them find true happiness and peace. You have given them to each other. Keep them always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For the family, family and friends that are gathered here today, that they may continue to enrich Paul and Stacy with love and support throughout the years. We pray to the Lord. Lord that our daily living may transform our suffering world into a place of love, justice, and peace. We pray to the Lord. For all of our deceased relatives and friends who have died in faith, we know they are with us in spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may God strengthen our faith, love, and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Pomódlmy się.
Polskę, zostaje z tym Pawła, którzy dzisiaj zawali sakramentalny związek małżeński, aby Bóg błogosławił w życiu. Ciebie prosimy, wysłuchaj nas. Almighty Father, be our prayers to Son Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred balm of marriage, and just as your goodness is, is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, we accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, the rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church, through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as we doubt and we acclaim. Down your spirit upon them like a dofo, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his confession, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my blood, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was on, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be pure out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of him. The Master of Faith. celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Paul, and Ellen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand up. Of the Savior's commandment and formed by the divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, St. Paul, please kneel down for a special blessing. Let us pray to the Lord for Stacy and Pavel, who come to God's altar at the beginning of their married life, so that they may always be united in love for each other, as now they share in the body of Christ. Holy Father, you created mankind in your own image and made man and woman to be joined as husband and wife in union of the body and heart and so fulfill their mission in the world. Father, to reveal the plan of your love, you made the union of husband and wife an image of the covenant between you and your people. In the fulfillment of this sacrament, 
the marriage of Christian man and woman. It is a sign of the marriage between Christ and the church. Father, stretch out your hand and bless states in power. Lord, grant that as they begin to live this sacrament, they may share with each other the gifts of your love and become one in heart and mind and witnesses to your presence in their marriage. Help them to create a home together and give them children to be formed by the gospel and to have a place in your family. Give you blessing to Stacy, your daughter, so that she may be a good wife and mother, caring for the home, faithful in love for her husband, generous and kind. Give you blessing to Pablo, your son, so that he may be a faithful husband and a good father. Father, grant as they come together to your table on earth, so they may one day have the joy of sharing your feast in heaven. In heaven. He has this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live in name forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us all be joined the sign of peace. <laughs> takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the south of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompanying with your loving favor, what is in your providence you have instituted so as to make of one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenish with the one bread and the one cherish to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God, the eternal Father, keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and be always in your home. May your children embrace you, your friends console you, and all men and love live in peace with you. Amen. May you always bear witness to the love of God in this world so that the afflicted and the needy will find your generous friends and welcome you into the joys of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This message ended. Go in peace. I want to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Borowski.